Hey everyone, Pastor BJ here, coming to you from Kirkmont Church. So ordinarily what we do here week by week is to just simply look at Scripture, dig a little bit deeper, and try to learn something. Try to apply it to our lives and to make our lives a little bit more godly and honorable. Well, over the last several weeks what I've realized is that there are an awful lot of folks in our community who are just really worried about so many of the big things going on in our country. And one of the things that scripture tells us is that we are to pray for those who are in authority over us so that we might live peaceful and quiet lives. I desire peaceful and quiet lives as so many of us here in this community do. And so what we're going to do this week is instead of doing a scriptural study, we're just going to pause and we're going to pray for our nation in obedience to that command. I invite you to join me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Father, that is our prayer today, that your will, which is done so faithfully in heaven, would be done here on earth. Father, we come to intercede on behalf of our nation. We are a people in distress. We are a country in turmoil. We are a people filled with anxiety, depression, and worry. We need your peace. Father, we know that only a knowledge of the truth can bring true peace. And Father, we invite your Holy Spirit to remind us that you have revealed your truth to us through Scripture and that you have won our salvation in Christ. Remind us of that with your Holy Spirit and give us peace. We pray for our president. We pray for our governors. We pray for the lawmakers and for the judges that they would be filled with godly wisdom, that they would love the people that they have under their care, that they would make decisions that are wise, that are godly, and that seek the best for their nation. We pray against any instinct for cynicism, any instinct to abuse their authority, any instinct which would lead them to use their positions of authority for personal gain rather than for the blessings of their nation. We pray that your Holy Spirit would turn their hearts toward you and to the degree that they seek to harm our nation, we speak against them in your name. Our country needs wise leaders because first and foremost, Father, we have been gripped by fear over the COVID-19 pandemic. Father, there is so much uncertainty about the future of this nation. There's so much anxiety. There are people who are afraid to leave their homes. There are those who only leave their homes gripped with fear about their health. There are families that have not been able to bury loved ones. There have been babies born where parents don't get to share that joy with their wider family. Father, we need your peace, and we pray that you would have mercy upon us. Father, we recognize that what we need is truly mercy, that we are not a nation that deserves your blessing, but we pray that in your grace and in your loving kindness that you would look upon us and that you would forgive us of our sins, that you would draw us to repentance. And Father, one way we invite you to do that is for the leaders of our country to make wise decisions, that they would seek peace and tranquility for our country and not use fear to divide us. Father, there are so many other struggles that we have continued to face for years. There are so many folks who are still struggling with addiction, who are gripped with alcoholism, and this problem has been ongoing for years completely untouched, unconcerned by the people who are given the responsibility to care for us. Father, we pray for those communities that have been ravaged by this drug addiction epidemic. Father, we also recognize that for decades now, our country is still continued to be plagued by the child sacrifice known as abortion. Our sacrifice to the modern-day God of Molech is an abomination on our country, and we repent of it. We pray against it. We pray that you would help heal us from this. Father, we are also in the midst of an economic struggle. 
At a time like this, the poor and the destitute are the ones who suffer the most. Father, there are so many who don't even have enough economic means to get through the day. Help us to be filled with compassion. Help us to be filled with love so that just like you, looking out over Jerusalem, wanting to gather them in as a mother hen gathers in her chicks, that we would love the poor in our community. That those who do not have what they need, that we would have compassion enough to share our abundance with them. Father, we also recognize that there is an upcoming housing problem. There are so many who have been unable to pay their mortgages that they risk default. There are so many who have been able, unable to pay their rent that they risk being evicted. We pray that you would find a way for us to secure them in their home. Father, there are also so many who seek to divide us. They seek to divide us along racial lines, along economic lines, along gender lines, and so many other ways, Father, and we speak against it. I pray that you would make us a unified nation and that as one voice we would lift up our praise to you, that we would cry out for mercy and that you would hear us. Father, we pray for this nation. We pray that you would remember your promises to those that love you, to those that have been called according to your purpose, that you would have mercy and grace and that we would seek your blessing. Father, give us your Holy Spirit so that we might find peace. Father, we also pray that you would remind us that the victory of your people has already been secured, that you have been placed on the throne and that you are ruling in the midst of your enemies and you are making them a footstool for your feet so that your mighty scepter will rule from Zion and that you will be given the glory that you deserve as king over all the earth. Give us comfort in knowing that you are sovereign, that you are good, and that you love us. And it is on that foundation that we pray for our nation that you would give us peace in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Well, I invite you to continue to pray for our nation, to pray for peace, and that we can ultimately live those peaceful and quiet lives that Scripture calls us to live.